Hey guys, good morning from Nami Island. Hope you guys are doing good and well. We're still here to give you videos on how you can invest and reach your goals of financial freedom. So for this video, I want to talk about ways on how you can earn money. Because there's actually two ways on how you can make your money work. Number one is what you call active income. Active income is you basically working hard for your money. You physically producing for you to be able to earn. What does, what does that mean? You ha Either you're an employee that you have to work for you to be able to generate income. You, or you're a professional, meaning you're a doctor, you're a lawyer, you're an artist, you're, you're a basketball player that from the fruits of your labor, you are producing wealth. Uh, there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing bad with that because I've seen a lot of people who are high paying employees that earn a lot of money as well. And there's a lot of professionals from doctors, lawyers, athletes, artists who make a lot of money doing their craft. Active income is good. However, the pitfall of that is this. In terms of taxes, employees are one of the highest taxed uh, people in the land in terms of, uh, in terms of professionals. Uh, you may earn a lot of money but the pitfall of that is what if you don't feel well what if you get sick what if you want to go on a vacation what if you're already relatively old or what if when you are employed already there might be someone who's better younger and can do the task at a much cheaper pace than you so that's the difference with active income you it may come to a point where you're earning a lot of money however you cannot work forever you have to understand also that our, our physical bodies as we get older can only work for a certain uh, can, a, can only work for a certain time can only work for uh, at a certain limit at a certain threshold if you are focusing on active income you're just reliant on your own self you're reliant on your own abilities and you're, you're reliant on your own skills all right so active income is good but it has its limits it has its limitations that it cannot uh, produce for you while you're sleeping it cannot produce for you while you are on a vacation as well so what, what I want to submit to you is this try to build passive sources of income try to build uh, avenue sources where you get to earn even if you're not doing anything anymore and that's where investments will come in that's where businesses will come in that's where the stock market comes in that's where real estate investing comes in that's where starting your own business that has a good a model will start to come in for you that will start to uh, generate money why imagine this I'm here in Nami Island but because for example I'm positioned in stocks those stocks also uh, generate dividends the companies for example if I own uh, if I buy shares of Ayala land or I buy shares of Jollibee Jollibee will run with or without my input Jollibee stock price has the potential to go up with or without my input and that's what's amazing about passive income if you buy real estate you invest in real estate you invest in property people are renting out your property you could be here in Nami Island you could be you don't have to watch it every day but your money is growing it has the potential to earn and it you, ge you generate cash flow from it on a regular basis so so that's it Focus on trying to build your assets. Oh, so here's the thing also, no, it does not you don't have to it doesn't have to be an overnight thing. Meaning if all of your sources of income right now are from active sources of income or active ways of earning money, that's okay. But why am I saying this? Try to transition. The older you get, try to transition and try to move from being an active income earner into a passive income earner. Try to move your money from active sources to passive so that when you get older, so that when you, it comes to a point into, into your life where you say, oh, I, I want to quit doing this. I don't want to uh, work anymore. I want to stop and I just want to focus on the things that I'm more passionate about. You have already passive sources of income that will allow you to live your lifestyle. So the goal is this, try to build a lot of active income, but as you have a lot of active income, use the income from that to buy assets, stocks, bonds, real estate, mutual fund. Uh, open your business that will allow you to generate passive income. So that your passive income will allow you to do the things that you want to do. Your passive income will allow you to live the lifestyle that you also want to have. Will allow you to travel and do the things that you want to do. So that as you get older or as you choose to live your life at your own terms, you're not limited by the 9 to 5 desk job that you are having. So that's what I want to encourage you on. 
build active income but as you build your active income as your active income goes higher position them and start buying assets so that those assets will give you passive income later on so two sets of income active income where you physically have to work hard for it second set is passive income uh, income where it's interest and interest or it's your assets building money for you or it's your systems from your business making money for you so that's it for now I hope this video helps you I hope that uh, you guys are enjoying and learning a lot from all of this so I hope this helps you trade well trade strong and trade smart so I'll see you all again soon God bless you where are we off to? Uh, walking around walking around okay.